Hello everyone and welcome. Sorry for quite a delay if you're watching this live, but we are here finally. Steven coming around, of course, the skeleton crew, me and Steven, making this happen. Uh, so we, a few big updates here, and I just want to shout out a lot of the people out there. Uh, we got a, a truss in, and it's basically this metal, giant metal thing going over us, and we've been mounting lights to it and a camera to it and re kind of redoing our whole setup. A lot of people as we've been playing uh, streams, doing a lot more streams during isolation, um, requesting kind of an over overhead shot. So we're going to have that and we're going to get to see that and we're testing it out here. So I can't wait for you to see that. Steven just left the room, so I can't switch to that shot. Um, but we're really excited and today we're going to be we're going to be playing uh, new investigators. So the first thing we're going to do, we've been doing this a decent bit when we start a new campaign, is we actually have a full collection. Robert was kind enough to let us borrow all of his cards. And so we're going to be building completely new decks. The first time we've been able to build on camera with a full, full on collection. And then after we get through building those decks, depending on what time it is, uh, obviously we're getting a little bit of a late start here because of the setup. We're looking to dive into the Carcosa cycle. A lot of people on the chat have been saying that's their favorite cycle, so we're really excited. Uh, we also have some very early prototypes here for the next board that we're making, which happens to be Carcosa. I have one of them here. You can kind of get a preview before we get a, a closer shot of it going. Uh, but I'm, I, these came out last week when we were on the, the paint stream. Here's another version, different color. A lot of testing going on. I'll show you some stuff when we get an overhead actually about it. But uh, the, they came out when we were in the middle of painting and I was just floored. So uh, having some beer come in right now, which I'm excited about to, to say cheers uh, for, for the improvements. Well, let's, go to, let's go to the shot. Yeah, I wanted quick. to show the shot. So uh, yeah, oh, there it focus is. focus it too, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and test that focus while I'm just letting this board kind of show itself. Let's just put this out here. Just previewing it. What's up? Hanging out. Actually, um, if you set that on the... Uh, in the middle? Set that in, actually, get some cards too. Let's lay some cards out. All right. Let's just put one in. Let's put a couple around. Around the block. Okay. Let's take a second. So then technically we'd normally play cards like this. So then you'd probably, hopefully, be able to read them and see them. Um, so all of this would not be possible if it weren't for a few groups of people. Uh, one is our content members. When we first started streaming, we launched a content membership. We were streaming Arkham, actually, that whole first week. 20 bucks a month, it goes to supporting our content directly. Uh, no tangible benefits as of yet. But effectively, uh, that was a huge part of this as well. Also, everyone that watches Arkham every week, we've been at Freaky Fridays. And then everyone that has been watching, whether they're subscribing to all the releases from Fantasy Flight, or they're just purchasing our components, like these boards and whatnot. Well, you got zoomed in there. Yeah, um, it, Honestly, the streams wouldn't be possible. Uh, it takes, a, I mean, obviously, Steve and I here, we have people remoting in from home so they can pop the cards up when we mention them. Uh, and then, of course, the gear and the equipment and the upgrades, none of that really possible without all of you out there. So uh, our genuine, uh, I think your camera is either... You're good. Uh, genuine gratitude across the board. Um, it, it's amazing the support you've been receiving, and uh, our intent is to continue this as long as we feasibly can. So uh, huge thanks to everyone out there who's been interactive on chat, who's been buying the tokens from us, subscribing, and be becoming content members. It means the world to us, and the entire team uh, is very amped and excited. The response to all these streams has been great. So uh, really, uh, from the bottom of our hearts to you, thank you so much for your support. If I zoom in, is it going to screw you up, all of our angles? What do you mean? Uh, no, right, right uh, we, can there. we can fix all the boards. That's fine. Right there. Uh, for people asking, I see some people coming through. I'm going to link to our Arkham category. The first thing there is the content membership if you're interested, but you can learn more. OK. I'm going to take it back to you. No. It's us. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Uh, and so, again, today, first thing we're going to be doing is deck building with a full collection, which will be crazy. I've never done that as an Arkham player. Um, and then after we do that, we're going to be setting up and hopefully playing the first scenario in the Carcosa cycle. Uh, and we're going to be diving in. I'm really excited. Everyone out there has been saying, the first one we did was Forgotten Age, which is one of the most notorious cycles. Uh, but everyone on chat was basically saying, this is the cycle to do. Here's our issue. There it is. There we go. That's what we were missing. Appreciate the kind words, Jesse. Okay. All right, how are we feeling on uh, brightness? Jonathan, if you're out there, are you watching? If you're out there, uh, he'll probably be on the chat. Let me know. See, I feel like now we can go a Nico bit. asking, have you guys figured out your investigators? We have not. That's a conversation. I saw a lot of people saying I should play Joe Diamond. 
I don't really know what he does, but I'm excited to look and see. Uh, I assume he's a high roll and shooting kind of guy. I'm getting dark. Oh, they can't see that shot. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good now. I think that's what we were missing. And the overhead zone. Thanks, Paul. Welcome. Jimmy Sharp, welcome to the stream. Good to at least see your name. Uh, All right. Yeah, we feel good about this. Let's, uh, let's like, mark, mark these out. So I'm going to basically corner this board so I can see. Yeah. So I'm doing it where like this is my corner. So I just know. I'm going to, let's get us in a little window there. Get my mic on. I think it's still, uh, yeah, not there yet. Nope. <clears throat> okay, we should be good now. I think we're windowed. Are so we windowed correctly? We should be friends. No, this is backwards. Oh no! Yeah, it will be. You'll be right down there. That's where the card's gonna pop up. Over here. Yeah. This is gonna be. It's gonna be about right there is where our faces are probably. Is this around faces? Which will be fun for <laughs> you to. It won't be that bad. No, I'll be. I'll be over here. Over here. It'd be totally fine. In fact, I might just play like this. Whoop. Nice. 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 New things, man. All right. Well, that was a gumption play right there. How do we feel on the top down, guys? Is is that uh, how's the brightness on that? It's a little dark. It looks a little dark to me. Let's get some Arkham cards out. Just so like if I'm, let's see, where am I going to be playing? Honestly, with this shot, we could play a little wild and loose here. I could play probably like this. What do we think? What's everyone saying? Looks good. A little dark. Yeah, you can see like the light's not bouncing off of this thing. Yeah. Like Let me just pump that up just a tad. Here come the do with the dibby dibby dibby. Okay. Uh, just saw a comment. Where is that? <laughs> Simona saying European distribution, please. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere uh, definitely interested in looking at. Uh, it's a it's a very complex, especially with the UK uh, and the whole Brexit thing, uh, made it way more complicated. So it's something we, we've heard a lot of people saying. Um, so we're, we're looking at it, but uh, no, no promises there. You know what we're going to do? I'll tell you what we do. Let's put, we're going to move that box. What box? We're going to move the box up more. So hold on. To, uh, stick, stick with the people. Box with our faces in it? Yeah, so I'm going to put it up because it's going to be too annoying to play it like this. All right. I'm going to put it in like the top right corner. Okay. I think will be my ideal. Let me get Jonathan on the uh, on the case here. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do it. If um, you want to stick over to deck building and maybe get some suggestions from people, you hit up ArkhamDB and uh, I'm there. make it happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to number three on you. Okay. Is that my screen? I'm going to pull up chat on my phone so that I can see people and what they're saying. Uh, so here's when I need some help, everyone. I'm uh, ultimately still very, I would say, novice at the whole Arkham experience. Um, so you know me, I think, mostly. Uh, what, uh, what investigator should I be looking at? Now, I'm going to look at all the ones that uh, come readily recommended here. And then uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to get logged in for a second. All right, I'm logging in, expecting to see some some real chats. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful investigators. Woo! So three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there are 39 investigators here. That's amazing. Oh, that's fun. My restream login isn't working. We're going to YouTube. All right. Well. Pulling this up, and then uh, let me get this chat going. All right. Madden saying, I need to step outside the box. Dane saying, Mark and Joe be awesome. Ash, Can, and Duke for Zach. Joe from uh, Billy. Let's look through here. John Tucker saying, uh, sincere question, maybe a little behind the, in the quotes behind the curtain. Do you benefit more from content membership or item purchase? Trying to decide which direction to go. Um, that's a tough one to say. I mean, ultimately, that comes down to how long you're a content member, because uh, there's a transaction of whatever you're buying, and that's obviously worth a certain amount to us. Uh, but I would just say, do whatever um, is more appealing to you. So, like, if you're really interested in the boards and the tokens and whatnot, I'd start there. 
uh, if you're going to do anything. And then if you want us to keep supporting us after a certain amount of time with a content membership, we would be uh, excited to see you sign up. All right, everyone keeps saying Joe. Mark, Joe, Jenny, uh, Tommy. Someone's saying, I already played Tommy. Someone's, a lot of people saying Mystic. Someone says Silas. Joe and Silas is, is getting called on. Joe and Silas. Let, let's find Joe. I've played Silas a billion times. All right, Mr. Joe Diamond. Let's read what he does. Joe Diamond, the private investigator. He's a seeker. What color is that? Yellow? Uh, yellow, and he's got a hunch deck. Hmm. And it's awesome. All right. Yellow doesn't normally have a four combat, right? Is that That's interesting. It doesn't normally, no. Willpower 2, Intellect 4, Combat 4, Agility 2, Health 8, Sanity 6, pretty standard. Forced, when the investigation phase begins, reveal the top card of, the hunch, of your hunch deck. Until the end of the phase, you may play that card as if it were in your hand at minus 2 cost. If it is revealed at the end of the phase, shuffle it back into your hunch deck. Let me, do an, let me see if we can get us in the box. All right. Okay, so is Arkham DB up and us in the box? Somebody tell me. Uh, I got the stream up. It should, it, it'll work in a second. Yep, we're in the box. Okay, so I'm going to start moving that box around, so don't freak out. I'm not going to freak out. I'm calling Jonathan. We're going to make it good. All right. Uh, then it says, when uh, the, the star effect, superstar, uh, you may move an insight event from your discard pile at the bottom of your hunch deck. Now, what's a, what's a, let me read the back of this deck. <laughs> you got it. 40 card deck, deck going options, secret cards, level 0 to 5, guardians, level 0, zero to 2. Guardians blue. Guardian is blue, yeah, it's the gun cards. Neutral, neutral cards, level 0 to 5. Deck building requirements, uh, detectives, colts, Detectives Colt 1911s, unsolved case, one random basic weakness. Additional requirements, you must, your deck must include at least 11 insight events, including unsolved case. During the setup of each scenario, you must choose 11 insight events from your deck, one of which must be unsolved case and shuffle them into a separate hunch deck. Okay, so 40 card deck, but 11 of them have to be insights that go into a separate deck when I start. And then basically, every time the investigation phase begins, I can reveal the top of the hunch and I can play it at minus two. Uh, if it's still revealed at the end of the face, then I shuffle the hunch deck, and then I get a new card. That's really interesting. And he's a fighter, kind of a seeker. Now, seekers, aren't they typically the clue gatherers? Uh -huh. you, you will be the main clue person, but you'll also be able to, to really do some fun things. I mean, you can... You he can, can fight. fight. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, if you can get clues and you can fight, I don't or see what, what else there is about this. Well yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just have to take this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very important call. Okay, so Joe Diamond, uh, I, I agree with the recommendation. I think I would very much enjoy playing this character. He also looks like he's in like a black suit with a black hat, so like that's already appealing. Um, anyone else that I should be looking at? I'm going to probably look at two or three main recommendations if there's a bunch of people saying it, and then I'll pick one and see if I can start building from there. Okay. It's a Brolin D1. Yorick, I'm seeing Yorick some. Ashcan, I, I, I have heard Ashcan Pete a lot. Let's see what he's all about. All also, right. Who should I play? Let's not sleep on that. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> my chat just exploded. Um, Ashcan Yorick, Ashcan has a dog. Deanna, Diana and Safina, man, the number of chats coming through is amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for participating in this. I'm going to read Ashcan real quick. He's a drifter, willpower four, so... Good willpower, low combat of two. Health and sanity are pretty low, too. I begin the game with Duke in play. And the fast action, discard a card from my hand, ready an asset I control. I assume Duke is an asset. Uh, he's the dog. What does Duke do? Uh, I'll let chat tell me that. Level 0 to 5 uh, survivor cards, level 0 to 5 neutral, and up to 5 level 0 cards from any other class. All right. Uh, do not count toward deck size. Duke, wrecked by nightmares, and a basic weakness. So people saying Duke is the investigator. Pete just carries his stuff. That's funny. Duke is good boy. That's all. hilarious. Okay, besides that, so I got Ash Cam Pete. I also got Joe. Let's get a third investigator in here, and then I'm going to look at that, and then we're going to see what so, people... Do you think it's working, like, right now, if I just start turning it? Okay, so I'm starting to turn now. Oh, Duke does seem very good. Thank you for that, uh, Simona. Zoe. I like Zoe because her name starts with a Z. How do you, should, should I check out Zoe? Safi, I'm seeing a lot of Safina and Zoe. All right. All right, let's look at Safina and Zoe. Those are the two I'm going to look at. 
I'm choosing one of them, unless Steven very much doesn't tell me, like it. Tell me when my uh, board is close to it. Safina Rousseau. I don't even know how to say that. That's a problem. Willpower 4, Agility 4. So this is totally different um, than what I've been playing. Hey, I'm going to go to the top down shot. Don't freak out. You're good. I'm just, I'm just talking. Uh, she has Force. When you would draw your opening hand, draw 13 instead. Choose up to 5 events to place beneath this card and keep 8 yeah, cards as your opening hand. Discard the rest. That's interesting. So there's an action. You can choose an event beneath this card and draw it. Uh, it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. That's really good. The star effects plus this three. Picture in picture right now. Uh, and then you can choose an event beneath this card and draw it. Uh, that's that's really strong. Thirty three rogue zero to five neutral and then mystic zero to two. That's cool. So, and then I can three copies of the painted world, a copy of Star of Hades, Hades, and a base weakness. She's cool. Hey, give me just a second. She's actually pretty cool. My only problem with her is she's kind of a. I guess agility is really good because um, she's not really gathering clues or fighting. Tell the chat we're going to go to the table shot for just a second. Chat, we're going to a table shot for just a second. You, they can hear you, right? I, I turn my mic down. All right, you can see it now. All right, right on. Yeah. Ryan's saying Safina seems more Steven speed. A lot of people want Steven to go mystic. I, I don't know. All right. Let's, uh, Zoe was the other one people were saying a lot about. There she is. She's the butcher. Uh, I mean the chef. Zoe Samaras, uh, Guardian, 4 willpower, 4 combat. I like those stats. After you become engaged with an enemy, you gain a resource. That's nice. The star effect is plus 1. If it's successful during an attack, the attack deals plus 1 damage. That's pretty good. Deck building is 0 to 5 Guardian, 0 to 5 neutral, and up to 5 level 0s from any class. Thank That's you. pretty good. Appreciate it. Nope. Okay. I, that's a pretty good good variety for me. Uh, what about uh, Steven? What should, what should Steven be looking at? I think we're good now. You figure it out? I think we're good. Oh, I see us. Look. Does it look good? Yeah, right. Yep. We fixed the problem. And then if you, if you go back to the table shot, actually, show, me, show me the table shot. It's cool because you have your board in the corner. The vine? Yeah, oh, yeah you are vine. There's a little bit of lag. I'm my there mind. it is. Yeah. Okay, you put your board, and I'm actually going to do this. Okay. Nice. Let's, well, I'm going to wait till it straightens out. I can see it over there. What am I waiting on? Yeah, great. Because then it just looks like a great little shot. And Woo! actually, yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm coming into the... Steven is entering the chat. Hold your horses. We're here. All right. Whew. <sighs> we made it. And let's play some Arkham. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Sh cheers. Clink. To the, to the uh, all right. All right, so do you know, this is, this is people, this is who they were recommending for me. Mm. They like, they like Ashcan Pete. You should absolutely play Joe Diamond. They like Joe Diamond a lot. I've never been more sure. So the thing, the reason that you're going to like Joe Diamond so much is because there's an added random uh, Hail Mary potential with every turn. So the, the way that he basically works is you're going to build a hunch deck of like 12 cards. 11 minimum. 11 minimum. And, and it's over to the side. And I go here and I flip the top one over. So every turn you flip the top one and it's playable. At so minus you, two. you can include insane things in that. Like yeah, you can include the random three, dynamite you know blast I mean? or the random like. So sometimes you'll flip up a hunch and it's like, oh, that's exactly what I needed. And then that'll feel awesome. Sometimes you'll flip up a weird card and be like, I wonder if I could use that right now. So I think the deck building will be more interesting and the actual play every turn is going to be a fresh new experience because it's a brand new card. Yeah. So I just think it's, I think it's right for you. Uh, so then the other people, the other characters people were recommending were Safina mm. and Zoe. Okay, let me look at uh, let me look at Safina. I haven't seen Safina in a while. And that was that was for me. So she's got the uh, oh, she's Andromeda. You draw thirteen. You put up to five events under, and you start with an eight card hand. Mm hmm. Um, that's 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 a fun that's a fun investigator. And she's Mystic Rogue, level zero to two. So she's kind of Mysticy without being like full on Mystic. One um, of us one of us should just be full on Mystic. Like if you're going Joe, I feel like someone's saying your mic's a little loud. Oh yeah, sorry. You're good. If you're going Joe, I could probably go uh, Mystic. What's a good Mystic to pair with Joe? Well, I or I could go with Safina, an actual Mystic. We could bring. I feel like we haven't played an actual Mystic, like a Kachi. There's your nine. Or uh, as I remember, Marie is kind of insane. People like Diana, Jim Culver. I've always wanted to play Jim. I never played Jim before. 
Diana Stanley plus one for everything beneath her, and you cancel stuff to gain cards beneath her. Okay. I mean, that's kind of fine. Let's see. Hold on. And you get a card and a resource when she does that. Okay, here we go. Agnes or Diana, Father Mateo, Akachi. So we're just, mainly because I have the perfect miniature for her, nice bin. Steven equals Akachi, Agnes, Agnes, Diana, Joe and Diana, bag control, Jim. Diana would be cool. Jim is cool. Jim and Dunwich is better. Diana and Jim. Jim would be helpful with Joe's low sanity. Control Jim is fun. Jim is really good in Carcosa. I enjoy Jim. I love Jim, but he's low tier. Well, you're speaking my language, Ryan. I love Jim because he's low tier. Well, yes. Sign me up. Jim Culver, the musician. Yeah, I played trumpet in high school, you know? So. Treat the modifier and skull tokens reveal zero. Mm -hmm. You like that? I do like that. Anytime you reveal a star token, you can choose to instead treat it as a skull token. His star is just a plus one. Mystic, zero to five neutral, and then up to five level zeros from anywhere. I'll bet his trumpet uh, does something weird with the skull tokens, if I were, if I were bet, guessing. Man. Carcosa also feels like a... Yeah, let's go Jim. Let, let's, let's start down the path of Jim Culver for Steven. Let's go Jim. Yeah, let's go Jim. All right. I, I've been so fascinated by Jim as an investigator. I have no idea what he does. I've always been so into it, though. Super, super interested. What's his deck building requirements there? So he gets yeah. zero to five mystic. Yeah. Neutral zero to five. Oh, zeros from any other class. Five zeros from anywhere. Okay, chat, we got to start here. This is really where uh, you guys have to shine. Because, I'm going to go most recent ta taboo. Yeah, you list. got to have the taboo. So, what are the essential Jim Culver cards? I'm not talking about good, I'm talking about the essential Jim Culver cards. We're going to start there because you guys know. Thank you, Frank. Get join the waitlist for the investigator decks. G grab that subscription if you just want to get them. Well, that's, um, that's what the waitlist is for. Oh, it's out right now. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Uh, yeah. Trumpet heals a horror when you pull a skull. Okay. Song of the Dead. Billy's Song of the Dead is a mystic card, I reckon. I got you. I'm going to start on the mystics. Yeah, you actually have them all there. That's Isn't that cool? We actually have the full collection. And so Thank you, Robert. The, the, the way these are organized, by the way, is... All the zero pips are up front, mm -hmm. and it's by cost at zero pips. And right. It's by cost at one pip, and by cost at two pips. So pips then cost. Yeah. Okay. Man, this is actually going to be easier than. So we'll start with level zero, which is no pips because I don't I don't start with any pips, and I've got a great list from the chat of cards that are absolutely essential. So we're going to start there. Okay. So it looks like we're running. Song of the Dead, so that's going to be probably a mystic card, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just guessing. Seems like something mystics would do. So Robert also had this uh, Luke Robinson deck built. So we're, I'm going to note any cards we take right out of this. Okay, I get it. So it's all the assets. What is... Uh, Song is level two. Okay. Cost experience, cool. Dark Prophecy, I love that card. Ritual Candles and Black Cat, that's a great, that's a great idea. Um, Olive McBride seems important. I love Olive McBride. Yeah, that, that's a no-brainer, right? Because you can always choose the skull. Olive McBride, when you reveal a Chaos Token, exhaust her. Reveal three Chaos Tokens to one, choose two of those tokens to resolve and ignore the other. So you could do double, yeah, that's really good. Makes a lot of sense. You just grab the... Uh, Swede, the uh, card pool is everything. We are borrowing Robert's collection. He loaned it to us for the stream. Jared's saying, seconding grotesque statue from Jim. Ooh, I love grotesque statue. When you have the XP. Ollie McBride is Seeker. M Mattis, yes, we're doing Carcosa, and we're doing all player cards. Yeah, give me that Luke. Is that the Luke deck you have in, over there somewhere? Uh, yes. You said there's a Luke Robinson. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of the cards I'm going to yeah. want. Just leave, it, leave the cards we're pulling sleeves so I can... Note them all, or I can just note them as you go. But yeah. it's on my screen right now, so it's... ritual candles, right? So ritual candles, all the McBride, probably important. Dark prophecy is going to make a lot of sense. Water protection, probably because always. Ooh, someone saying holy rosary is a great pick. How we feel about holy rosary or Saint Hubert's key? Those are those are good ones. Drawn to the Flames, always exciting. I always like to do that. Just, you know. 
I forget that as we're saying these, the cards uh, should be popping, right? A little bit, yeah. Okay, there's Olive. And the candles. Uh, Jesse says the trumpet's in a relic, so Dr. Ellie is a great ally. Ooh, cool. Is she my second charisma ally? Maybe. Okay. Okay. So there's so, that. I'm going to do this. Daring in his splash and you shriveling an enchanted blade to fight. That sounds awesome. So it looks like premonition is a thing, as it always is. Sixth sense, rosary. Okay. Shriveling, sixth sense, and rosary. All the spells and casterly rock. You're getting mystic in here. Oh, yeah. Holy rosary. Shriveling. And we are going to upgrade these spells, right, I, I imagine. Okay. Look at that table shot. It's going to be good. The trumpet is a relic. Dr. Ellie, yep. Yeah. Uh, Hubert, spectral razor, key, booth, the key. What's the key? St. Hubert's? St. Hubert's key? Six cents and wither, yep. Yeah. How do, guys, how do you feel about Wither versus Shriveling? So if we're going to maybe level zero, do we start with Wither and then we upgrade it into that big Shriveling? Is that the idea? Uh, Ryan, yeah, this is Arkham DB. So we just bu are building a new deck with Jim Culver for Steven as we uh, call out the cards. Get that Chthonian Stone. Ryan says, I still take the Shriveling. It depends on the weather from Nemesis. Wither, Sign Magic... Yeah, Jordan, uh, we got the camera shot in. We, we got it up. We got the truss in. Um, shriveling and Enchanted Blade. So are we going with it? Didn't Enchanted Blade get uh, tabooed, though? That's not what we want. Consistency versus power. Wither versus shriveling. Man, I'm a consistency guy. What happened to Enchanted Blade? I don't see any notes. It may have been the upgraded version, the Mystic only version. Mm -hmm. Is there a Mystic only version? Maybe there's not. I don't remember. Huh. Yeah, you want to deal two per hit basically all the time. I don't see it in upgraded enchanted. Okay. Shriveling is better, but it's nice to have an extra Wither to take out some rats or something. We do have Ryan's Joe. Ryan's saying, oh, wait, you have Joe. Take Wither. Yeah. I. What does Joe have to do with that? Well, it probably just means that you can do, do some damage. Theodore, where is the, what is Eldritch Inspiration? Okay. Yeah. Arcane Initiate. I, what do we think about, do we think we should do Horowitz? Dr. Ellie, as one of my, one of my two level zeros. Let's look at what that looks like. You're not going to want her, Zach, right? Ellie? Can I see what my trumpet does? Can you pull it up? Just hover over it. It should be already in the deck. Jim's trumpet. Jim Culver only. When a skull token is revealed during a skill test, exhaust Jim's trumpet. Heal one horror from an investigate your location or a connecting location. Okay, that's reasonable. Okay. Uh, Joe saying, Dr. Ellie, only if you're going to take Chthonian Stone. I think that sounds like a card Stephen loves. I, I do like Chthonian Stone, yeah. Olive and Ellie. Uh, yeah, I could do with some charisma. We'll see. Okay. Let's see what she looks like here. Chris, we really appreciate that. He says, hey, a full play set of katana sleeves I bought from you guys just got here. Time to sleeve while I watch. That's awesome. Thanks for buying those. You're mm -hmm. going to love them. We'll try Ellie there. Okay, so let's, let's, settle the, uh, let's settle the real debate that we're having here, which is... Um, We should run the backpack. And then the second debate that we're having is, <laughs> it's gotta be the backpack, right? The second debate is what are my five level zero cards? What are the five yeah, level zero cards? Yeah, you can taste the cards? rainbow there, right? Yep. I mean, are you? is there ever a world where Steven doesn't play lucky? My gosh, being able to take two luckies? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> How good is that? 
So yeah, two Nico says, lanes, two oh, luckies. Always and, uh, backpack, am I right? <laughs> and something else? Yeah, VTAC saying lucky. I absolutely adore lucky. Uh, Retro down saying two, two no stone unturned for trumpet or okay. whatever else. Is that... Uh, can you look up no stone? I believe it's a survivor card, if I'm not mistaken. No stone. Ooh, yeah, maybe. No, it is a secret card. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing it on the list. Hmm. Elusive scavenging. Everybody's saying scavenging. What's your play on scavenging? What's that about? Me? No, chat. Chat, why do you like scavenging so much? Let's go two luckies because I'm Steven. I'm... Stav uh, scavenging says after you successfully investigate by two or more exhaust scavenging, choose an item card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. Yeah. It's great. It's the best, best thing. Scavenge the trumpet. Ryan saying he disagrees with scavenging and gem. Yeah, everyone's going to disagree. Oh, I think grotesque statue is the way it's got to be, though, guys. Grotesque statue and lucky, that's gem all over for me. Grotesque statue, yeah, okay, let's look at that. I'm gonna get, make that happen now. Does that start out in, can you look up grotesque? Is that survivor, does that start out in survivor? How do you spell that? G-R-O-T-E-S. Yes. Something's going weird. Search in the scavenging, where the scavenging is? Yeah, it'll pop up. That's the upgraded mystic version. So I don't need to spend level zero on that, right? No, you're in Mystic, right? Yes, I'm in Mystic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, I'm going to get to it then. Is now, there some weird thing where it's only showing, there it is. Yeah, well, we got to unlock all of our sweet cards. Yeah. We've got the whole thing. I had a feeling. I was like, there's some reason. Don't mind me. So let's assume, Zach, you're, you're going to be doing the lion's share of the investigating. But I can bat on six cents as needed. So I'm investigating and fighting. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing fighting. I'm doing some fighting. It's like what where what are you good for? Ooh, vicious blow! You guys are insane. To investigate to trigger it. No stone. Yeah. All right. Now we're in business. Okay. Let me see what I'm working on here. So let me actually pull Jim. So I'm gonna kind of work on my thing. If you want to get, um, if you want to kind of get a pile of cards that you can start working on, then maybe we can go to overhead. Uh, just basically, I'm now at a point where I feel like I can start whittling, whittle, whittle some, what color some am things I? down. Yellow. You're gonna start with Seeker. Yeah. Here's your assets. Where did you pull those from? They're here. Those are all mine. Mm-hmm. Yep, those are your. Why I'm pulling these out? Those, yeah, and then you're playing who? Joe Diamond. Joe Diamond. So you're gonna have to look in the deck build at all the inside cards. That's gonna be your main. I believe that's how his hunch deck works. Let's just do it. Let's get ready to do it. <laughs> Now, where's Joe? Hey, Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? All right, and there's a way. Let's where there's see. a will. Traits? Would it be a trait? Yeah, so probably, I think it's K. You got colon. it. What's it called? Insight. Let me look at, pull up, uh, I'll give you your investigator and you can. I could also, I've always, I've got a Norman. Uh, I'm saying Lone Wolf and Jim. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so there's me. And let's go you. The next, the next, uh, <laughs> the next time we play, I'm going to play Norman Withers. Norman Withers. Yeah, I've got a deck already built for him that I think is just too great. All right, look at, look at Joe. See, yeah, it's great. That's what you want. All right, Joe Diamond. Let me read his uh, other upgrades. His Detectives Colt 1911s. Joe, Joe Diamond deck only, four ammo. Up to two assets I control do not take up hand slots. Wow. 
Spend That's one, crazy. Spend an ammo, fight with a plus one, and deal plus one damage. If this attack defeats an enemy, I can use an insight event from my discard pile. I can move it from my discard pile to my insight deck. Then you've got unsolved case, which I won't even read until I hit it. Yeah, don't do it. All right, uh, I'm going to be looking through cards and, and yeah, I'm going to add the taboo list. Let's do that. All right, this is what I'm actually going to start out with. I'm Seeker, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, do I just read all the cards? The chat will get you limited down to like a pile. So like names that you continue seeing are generally like good names of things to include. Now with Seekers, I mean, you, there's not a lot. It, it kind of, at the beginning, you're going to probably play it pretty similarly to uh, the way that most Seekers would play. All right, well, I'm just going to start reading some of these. Archaic Glyphs, any shout outs for that? It's a lot of text. Ooh. Chat, what are, the, what are the quintessential Joe Diamond cards? Let's just start there. Let's get those out. Working a hunch is a must include in a hunch deck. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. So what is your, read me your rules on creating a hunch deck. How does that work? I, my deck must include at least 11 insight events, including unsolved case, which is uh, my weakness. So you basically put 11 insight events plus your weakness into a hunch deck? Is that the idea? Because you would always... Well, this can be one of the 11. So technically at least 10. So my 10 deck, deck size is 40, and they come out of my deck. Okay. Um, and then during the setup of each scenario, I choose one insight from my event deck and shuffle them into a separate... No, I choose 11 inside events from my deck, and they become their own deck. Okay, so you need to choose 11 inside events, and that's across any class. So that's great. So you can you can do, and you can do two of each, like you can do a two of, or does it have to be only one of every event? It can event? be anything. Okay. Just 11 insights. So basically you're looking at five inside events and then a one of, if I were you. That's exactly how I would do it. Scene of the Crime is great. You can go ahead and pull that. Shortcut is great. I would definitely do that. Working a Hunch, definitely do that. Um, logical Reasoning is a question mark. Shortcut is also a question mark. Yeah. Ten inside events plus your weakness. And I'm working it on Jim over here. So he's just a skull man. Working a hunch. Cost two. Let's put Robert's test this organization to the test. So your prayers. No stone unturned continues to come up. So let's put that in the inside deck for sure. I would say shortcut in the main deck. Yeah, I would also say, let's see, I would also say, I'm just uh, gonna do this. All right, so people are saying working a hunch, it's an insight. So is the, should I think about this as like putting two of in the deck? I think so. I, I would, basically, unless it's the classic theory, right? Unless the sixth thing that you're going to include is better than any of the two ofs. Yeah. And it probably isn't. So five insight events that can really make your make it happen. Working, I would say working a hunch and delay the inevitable are really good ideas. So both of those, if you pull those out. And I'm going to start getting my hand slots built. Delay the inevitable. It's fast. Plan to do a turn after it. An investigator at your location under his or her control. Fast action when you were dealt damage and or horror discard delay the inevitable and cancel all. Wow. Good in a hunch deck. Yeah, because it's free. It's free o'clock, man. <clears throat> all right. I like that. All right. Keep giving me some recommendations. Wither. Makes sense with Scene all of the crime, for sure. Let's see. Oh, shriveling is super good. Especially with with Jim, because I just heal. I take a horror and then I just heal it with the trumpet. I like that a lot. I do like Scene of the Crime, that's good. Yeah, the good cards are good, right? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. It's like, oh well, these. All right, see the crime, definitely. People are shouting that one out. All right, what, what else? 
Okay, we all agree. I think chat definitely agrees on scene yeah, of the crime. Yeah, scene of the crime happened. Preposterous sketches is now up for a vote. Who's into pre yeah, preposterous sketches. Everybody's into preposterous sketches. Let's see where that one is. Two cost. Play only if there is a clue at your location. Draw three cards. Whew. Free three cards? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I'm getting the sweats here. Whew. All right, I like the sketches. No, no. stone on turn. Let's try that one out. Let's no see what that's stone. about. I guess the one where you, yeah, cost two. Choose to investigate your location. That investigator searches the top six of his or her deck for a card, draws it, and shuffles their deck. Yeah, you can always use it on yourself and free search for zero. That's pretty good. So that's, Love that. That's 10. I got 10 hunches, or that's 11 all, hunches. That's, that's all it. 10. That's great. So I've got a cancel, a save myself card. I've got a search the top six card. I've got a draw three card. I've got a discover clues card. And then I've got a discover a clue card. Two discover clues. One fill to the top six, one draw cards, and then one prevent death. All right, great. Well, let's start there. Yeah. And then move I on to the secret stuff. That's probably the, the smartest way to do it and not the, like, downtown Leroy Brown play. Yeah. Just be, just be good. Just be consistent, good, right. et cetera. Now, what do you do for your main deck? Um, what, what are your options? Are you just seeker? No, I'm Seeker, and then I get level 0 to 2 Guardians. Ooh, nice. So you can get guns. And yeah. you don't have hand slots, right? You get two free hands? Uh, no. The tool assets don't take up hand slots up to oh, two of them. Ooh, tools. So I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the tools. And let's. Oh, yeah, man. I, I also get what? Your magnifying glasses don't, and your Hawkeye doesn't take up a hand slot? Ah! Let's. At least put those on the list. That seems really good. Yeah, let's get some magnifying glasses in there. I put two and two Hawkeyes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, there's I'm no reason that. not to do that. I'm totally into that. And that gives me uh, more willpower. Like, the also, Hawkeyes are really important there. Hold on, shift and select neutral over there. I think flashlight is also an option there. It sure is. Let's well, just put it in for now. What's your stat? Is it a four? That's pretty respectable. My what stat? Your four intellect? I have... Four in life, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the magnifying glass will give me plus one while I'm investigating. Also check out Guardian. Select Guardian. Uh, it'll it'll restrict it appropriately. Okay. Just make sure. Keep it's, just keep that. There's no Guardian tools. Yeah. Okay. Flashlight is a good fallback. Uh, they only don't take hand slots when his guns are in the other slots. Mm. Okay. That's fine. But it basically means that, you know what else I need? Give me that backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that back. When I found out people didn't like this card, I loved it all the more. We need guns. You need guns. But I, I think, one, I love backpack. Of course you because do. Because if I'm going to run four or five tools, and I'm going to run two or three guns, mm -hmm. it's like the ability to just like have two or three sitting there, I think is, is good. Um, all right, then we need guns. I want candy. Bubble gum and taffy. Bandolier and not a backpack. I don't, that seems like sacrilegious. <laughs> I love Joe's Pizza says, God, these guys love backpack. I hate it so much. <laughs> I would go Dr. Milan probably on your ally. That's going to give you a, make you a competitive investigator and give you some money. Dr. Milan Christopher, four cost. Plus one book, yep. After I successfully investigate, gain a resource, yep. Yeah. This card's fast ability now reads after you successfully investigate, exhaust, exhaust him. It That's used fine. to, you used to be able to get every money time. every time. It was busted. Busted. All right, let's put a copy of him in. Do I, I don't put two in, right? That seems preposterous. I think I do too, just what? for consistency, yeah. We can, we can trim. We're, we're, we can trim in. I know I can, as long as he's on the list, I can add or subtract, you know what I mean? Yeah, you put him in there. Uh, Tim says, forget guns, grab Enchanted Blade. Ah, uh, you know, every, I'm a big Enchanted Blade fan, just generally. Joel saying, Beat Cop for your ally. I did like the Beat Cop. Guys, tell me this. Uh, on, the, on the gym front, you think I can just take an Arcane Research? I feel like if I'm healing horror, I should go ahead and just give myself a mental trauma. I'm just going to put B, B Cop on the list. So uh, I can have B Cop and Alice are both great. Who's Alice? Alice Luxley. She's not on my list. Uh, she's there somewhere. She's an ally. 
Why? She's good. Why are we separated like this? Uh, it's because it's not sorted by type, I guess. Yes. Chris, you into that? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. We'll grab the Arcane Research. That doesn't count either for my deck size here. Dark Prophecy is definite. Word of Protection is definite. Deny existence, of course. Alice. I'm not seeing an Alice. Alex Lexley. She's a guardian, yeah. Ooh, hello there. Also plus one book. Hello there. So I like the idea of one her, one Milan. That seems like something you would be into. Well, because, like, ideally I can get them both out. Not without charisma. Well, yeah, but I, that's what I'm saying. So if I do one and one, then the odds of me in game one drawing two of them and not being able to play, right? Because I can only play one in that first game. But then I can charisma later. Sure. I, I'll you're, at least you're, have you know list. enough to deck build at this point. I'll, yeah. I'll save all of my things that I think you're doing wrong for myself. Are these all from Robert's deck? Yeah. Anything sleeved, yeah. I'm just going to take a picture. Do you want to take a picture? I don't know that you need Mr. Rook. Looks like you're going elsewhere in your allies, so that won't matter. Yeah, you can put them back you're in. definitely taking deduction. That is and Hawkeye is going necessary. In. Hawkeye as well. Also, yeah. Crack the Case seems all right. I think that's Oh, you good. know what's interesting, though, is that not that it matters so much, but like I can choose my insights at the start of the game. Yeah. So like it doesn't have to be the same insights every that's time. That's true. That's true. Interestingly. Delve too deep. All right, I'm in. All right, let's see here. Man, I cannot imagine doing this without chat. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it takes a lot longer, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I've got my cards selected. Delve too deep. Is that for me or Steven? I feel like that's a Steven card, right? Delve too deep is for me, yeah. All right, what are the what are the like super painfully obvious cards that go in every secret deck that I don't have on my list right now? Let's start there. Ooh, Delve too deep is awesome. What up, Warner? We have uh, Steven is looking at playing Jim Culver, and I'm playing Joe Diamond. Jim and Joe. <laughs> Deduction, shortcut, deduction, shortcut. All right, looks like deduction and shortcut are going in. <laughs> yeah, those two are correct. Enough people say it, and, uh, well, you do it. Oof. Boy, howdy. Read the science. What's my stat line? Mm, it's really good. All right, uh, let's see. Shortcut, shortcut, deduction. Everyone's saying shortcut and deduction. We got it. That's, that's correct. Guys, read the signs. Where did that card come from? That card's phenomenal. I need some guns, I'm told. What, what are like the top three guns? <laughs> 32 Colt seems normal. It's a pretty standard gun right there. You have cracked the case in there? No, nope, but I'm going to. Oh, I, yeah, it's, it's right in front of you. I see it. I have that... Uh, I know that name way too much. Everyone's saying the 45. Everyone's saying the 45. Let's see. Cool 45. Because it gets plus one physical and plus one damage. But the 32 has an extra charge <laughs> and still does the damage. It just doesn't give the plus one. I'm sure they're all wrong. <laughs> no, some people are saying 32. But literally like 30 people said the 45. So the 32 plus one, no bonus. You're a four stat. So in the world of Arkham, on standard, five is the magic number. Five is the stat where you can comfortably take a test. So Which is why. So the 45 probably gets you a plus two, if I were guessing. What does the 45 get you? It's plus one, but I'm at a four, so that puts me at five. That puts you at five. Five yeah. is the magic number, yeah. Everyone's saying emergency cash. That's a card I like. That All goes great time. in your backpack. Boom. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Uh... We've got it. Ooh, guys, this gym deck yeah. is going to be so fun. Everyone's saying 45, 45 Thompson's got a 6 printed on it, so that's just too much for me. Dude, that 45 Thompson, have you seen it? It's a 6. Well, you got emergency caches. You can pay for that. Yeah, but the plus 2, getting to a 6, is that relevant? It's 5 ammo. How much it's, is that it's 45? It's also both hands. How much the 45? Is it just uh, 3 ammo? 4 ammo. 
Okay, I like the 45. It's cool. Pistols are cooler anyway, even though they're way less accurate. I mean, it's what he's got in his, his picture, too. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the let's do the forty five. Do 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 do. Okay, maybe defiance. <laughs> Ryan Shelton says you do not have the hands for the Tommy gun. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, as soon as I saw two hands, that's kind of when I was out. Prepared for the worst. How do people feel about prepared for the worst? Uh, it's good. It can search out your guns. That's really the idea. Hmm. I don't know that I'd pay for that. I just play a backpack. That's what I'm saying. Backpack's only six. Yeah, but but you get to get up to three of them. Yeah. The value. Uh, it just depends on how many assets. I mean, how many items and and whatnot do you have in your deck? I want to have at least ten to run backpack. But that's just me. That you know, you seen that meme? That's none of my business. Kermit. I've currently got nine. Yeah, I have. The one where he's doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, everyone say machete. Uh, forget, forget machete. You gotta have vicious blow, I think. Times two. Everyone worth their salt's gonna have that. Extra damage. It's the only way to do three damage in a single swing, and sometimes that is the game-winning moment. Put it in. People say I'm one fingerprint kit? That's not bad, given your... Uh... Backpacky? Yeah. Hmm. That's really good. I'll, I'll, I'll at least put it in the temp list. I got five slots left. Man, deck building by uh, committee here has been <laughs> rewarding, as in it's not super stressful like some of the other times we deck build on the stream. Uh, yeah, but the fingerprint kit is a tool, right? So it doesn't take, if, if I get my signature weapon, it doesn't take up a hand slot. That one of in your deck? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, just build around it, man. I got the draw three. <laughs> I got the, uh, I got that Ellie Horitz in my deck. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's not a relic though, is it? Does, uh, Ellie only searches out relics. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I got you. You got me. Uh, you got me. Guys, what do we think about Scroll of Prophecies? <laughs> Echo Echo says, yeah, I'm going to need people chat to help me build decks from now on, too. I feel like Inquiry I need a second mind. hand slot. Is it the Enchanted Blade that goes in there? Oh, my gosh. I, I like the, the sound of that, dude. I think it's the Enchanted Blade. You're the blade. mystic. Of course you got I the Enchanted, the Enchanted blade. blade. You're hiding yeah. it in the trumpet. Yeah. I think it's the blade in the trumpet. Yeah. Inquiry Mind seems all right. Uh, it's fine. All right. Do you need to pass test that bad? I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, you don't. You're not gonna have room for that, are you? How many slots you got? I got five left. Really? Wow. Steadfast. Take the initiative. Everybody loves take the initiative. Wow. Unexpected courage isn't bad. Um, guts isn't bad. What's your What's your head stat? Whoa. Uh, courage and guts are okay. Uh, why Why wouldn't I run that thing I was just on? It had three question marks. Because sometimes there's not a clue at your location and it's a completely dead card. Did it say that? Mm -hmm. What was that card called? Uh, the uh, props. Guts is fine. It's going to help you not die to some stuff probably. Mm. <laughs> it's going to help you not die to some stuff probably. It's the way I like to play Arkham. Right there. That right there. I'm going to get that Enchanted Blade in here. She's on Steadfast. Go 45. Do the thing. Take the initiative. I love that sound. The cards bouncing in the box? Yeah, I'm sorting through cards. Oh, man, this is a process. Are you taking all my backpacks? We have plenty of backpacks. <laughs> we got our own collection over there, too. Yeah, that's true. 
Let's mix them all together. I'm gonna do something Steven loves. I put in four different one ofs. Great. Of the commitment cards. Yeah, that's fine. Find out what you like. Is that too many? Live with your choices. I mean, the commitment cards are how you fill out a deck once you're done with the cards that you care about. Perception wouldn't be bad for you. Basically, it's just like, okay, buff your main stat and, and it replaces itself. So it's situationally useful to get a hard-to-get clue, and it always replaces. So mm -hmm. it's basically just getting you to your better cards faster, mm -hmm. which is not bad. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I, I do like Take the Initiative. I didn't like it as much, but then some people convinced me. Ooh, guys, I don't know. I don't. Does Jim really take Enchanted Blade? Because I feel like I want to have six cents and shriveling out. I'm not sure that Jim takes Enchanted Blade. I am going to take those fine clothes, though. The art on that is hilarious. He looks faker than fake. Jim's the one in the fine clothes here. Of course he is. What about logical reasoning? Yeah, everybody keeps saying logical reasoning. I thought they were just talking about our statements. No, no. <laughs> that certainly was not the case. Play if you have at least one clue, plus two brain. Choose to investigate your location. The investigator heals to horror, discards a terror card from his or her threat area. It's got the two brain as well. That's really good. So I can just commit it for two brain. Yeah. Or I can play it if I have a clue, and then I can heal oh, to can horror. Heal yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I like that the best of that, all. Does that go in your insight deck is the question. Not that you have to decide now, but that's pretty convincing. Like that just pops up. It's like, oh, heal time. <coughs> Bless you. Okay, some hands. Some dust in the air. Some hands. Yeah, it's because we just wrecked this uh, rosary. How about some fine clothes? Let's go. Actually, you probably need the fine clothes. I mean, we can both have fine clothes. Two, yeah, it's two, just uh, two it's, gentlemen. Parlay is usually a, a book test, and you're you got a better book than I do. I have a, you have four, don't you? Yeah, I've got three. This is not terrible. Plus, I can get it with my backpack. There you go. I'm gonna put one in. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm at forty-three cards now, though. I have problems. Yeah, now you gotta you got to cut. Someone's um, saying Enchanted Blade for Joe, not Guns. Yeah, that's probably a decision that's going to split people. Basically, think of it as three ammo plus one, and then you can spend one after you, uh, when you initiate it to, to give it plus two plus one. So basically, you have three ammo at plus two plus one, or four ammo at plus one plus one. I think I'm a gun man, personally. But Well, you, the thing about the blade is you don't have to spend the charge. You don't. You can just do a plus one attack for one damage. But you can do that with your fist. I mean, like, what's plus one? Not that big of a deal. Yeah, I, I like the guns. And I don't like the blade in gym because I want shriveling and six cents out, and I don't want to take an arcane slot. I'm not going to waste an arcane slot on that. Oldrick, never, I haven't uh, heard of or played the Highlander CCG. Theodore saying I dropped the flashlight. Yeah, that's fine. Let's check out one, see how we feel. That's fine. Need more weapons than just three? I don't know, is there a standard? Like, is, is the people... Yeah, I usually try to go four weapons in the main deck if I'm fighting. And if I have prepared for the worst and or backpacks, I feel better about it. Well, how about this? How if about you get put... caught in a game where you don't have them, we just lose. How about I put a blade in? You can, yeah. Then I got I can, out. Then I can do both. What do you say? I've got them out. You can just test them and see which one you like the most. Because I don't have any other relics. I'm fine with that. And you got your your magnifying glasses in there. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Yeah, five, I kept six, the magnifying seven, eight, glasses. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
324 prepared. And then 25, 26. Hmm. Boy, Delve Too Deep is fun, isn't it? Woo! People saying, cut Alice, you crazy. <laughs> they do say Alice or Beat Cop, not both. Well, yeah, you gotta either get basically choose what allies you're going to have out, and then move <coughs> do the rest. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. No worries, Keith. That's 30. a fine question. Uh, saying Outsiders expansion for Sky Terror uh, is in pre-shipment for three days. Is that normal? It's normal for it to take a couple days sometimes, but right now things are really crazy with USPS particularly. Um, so those those definitely are out the door, and they'll be to you as soon as is feasible. And then sometimes what happens too is, for whatever reason, they don't catch it up front, and then it shows up to you, and that's the first time the tracking actually updates. Um, but you you know give it uh, probably two to three more business days, and if you don't see it, then uh, you can reach out to us, and we'll check into it for you. Okay, I'm pretty much there. I'm going to get this laid out, and then we can do a top-down for the last moment of this deck building. Top-down. Take it top-down. Player, ride your top-down. Standing on the corner like I own the block. I don't care about. You want to play Midnight Club too? Just me? Midnight Club too? Yeah. I played all the Midnight Clubs. Racing game? Oh yeah. Drive around New York City. Do you remember that that song? Stand on the corner like I own the block? No. It's been in my head for a long time. Okay. This, 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 this. Ran, that's this. really it. I don't think that should be the case. He's saying I want to order the investigator boards, but no shipping to Israel. We ship to Israel all the time. Um, so if you or trying to check out and it's not showing up as an option, uh, send a contact in and we'll look at whatever's going on. Make sure it, make sure you get your autocorrect address thing in too. You gotta lock that in with the with the suggested address tool. I have questions once you are there. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I think the I love how much discussion over the allies. No one agrees. Yeah, that's why we play the game, right? If it was obvious, it'd be really boring. All right, Rand, just let us know if you have trouble. Appreciate the support. Um, so the, the things I have going on is my ally slots um, are question marks. Just I also have a lot of one, what do you say? Just run one ofs. I have three one ofs right now. <laughs> that's probably why people are so confused. But that's none of my business. <laughs> Ooh, this is my kind of card. Calling in favors? It does seem like your kind of card. <laughs> Choose an ally in ally asset you control and return it to your hand. Search the top nine cards of your deck for an ally asset and play it. Reducing its cost by X, X is the cost of the ally asset you return to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Whew. If it were me, I would do two Alice, probably, or two uh, Christopher, two <laughs> Milan, and then probably two Beat Cop. So Steven says, with Alice, you won't be getting clues with enemies engaged to you. You would have to take a hit from the enemy to get the clue, then do a damage. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Tommy would be better at that, obviously, as you said. I kind of like two Milan, two Beat Cops. Yeah, let's do that. And that's then, that's an actual, like, that makes me less uncomfortable. Because that way I can, with the Beat Cop, I get my plus one. Mm -hmm. And then with the Milan, I get my plus one. They give me the five on both. To five. Yeah. Uh, and then once I get 
whatever the thing is, charisma, charisma. then I can get them both in play. And like, yeah. getting either in play means I don't have to commit cards to the, that skill test. And now, ideally, early on, you're going to play the beat cop, you're going to kill the beat cop, and then Dr. Milan's going to ride you through the late game. But it doesn't always work out that way until you get charisma. Yeah, and then I also, of course, have a flashlight, so that's another way and to get me a plus glass. one. That's yeah. what I meant, yeah. yeah and I also have the, the Hawkeye, which mm -hmm. could give me a plus one as well. Mm -hmm. um, now, you only, don't, you only have two extra hand slots if you have the cold in play. Mm-hmm. Huh, so you're gonna, it's gonna be stumbly for a little bit because, like, you might draw a hand of three or four hand slot items, and it's like, well, some of these are going to the dump. Well, luckily, so uh, part of that that's nice is one, I have the backpack for storage. Two, it's true. is it's so, I, so true. I have the gun. So I have um, four <laughs> guns total, or I have three guns and an enchanted blade that all only take one hand slot. So ultimately, you have a investigate hand and a gun hand? Is that what you're looking at? Yes. Or it's like, as an example, right, I can have the flashlight if I don't get the ally out that it gives it to me, or I can have the camera. So I have a lot of options to get plus one book. And then all of my weapons give me plus one. So it's like if I see any of my weapons or any of those cards, I have a way to boost both. So basic basic goal is five on both of your main stats through a combination of allies and hand slots. Yeah, and, and I have, the rest and I have is plenty history. of that. Yeah. So then the last thing I have is, yeah, the fingerprint kit is expensive. I don't even know if I'm going to play it. What's your slot that you're adding to? Uh, plus one, oof, one additional clue, oof. One additional clue is so good in this game. Yikes. Yeah, that's not, so the other thing I have going on is a lot of these one-ofs, like Guts. Oh, the per one-ofs. Perception, Steadfast. Easy to cut there. Take the initiative. Easy to Unexpected get. courage. So I need to choose. I can cut one of these and definitely because um, I think I could be on two and two if I really wanted to. I'd cut, cut most of the. So skills, honestly, like skills, every card acts as a skill card. Skill cards can only be skill cards. And so they better be bringing something that's really good. Otherwise, they're just filler. Like, I only include skill cards to get me into my better cards because I don't have other ones that I want to include. If my deck is, like, at 40 and I need to cut stuff, it's going to be skill cards every time. Yeah. If, unless I'm, like, Silas or somebody has a lot of synergy with them. So um, that, it, it makes me want to do, like, I think Steadfast is totally fine. Brains and punches, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I like the brain ones because I have ways of boosting the other stuff. Yeah. So that's where I like, uh, where is it, Guts as sure. well? It's like, that's my weakest stat, and I don't really have a way to boost it. Um, What's your head stat? Two? Mm -hmm. So going to four gives you like a, a, a decent maybe shot at passing a test for a, a head. So there's also a school of thought that says, well, you're probably not going to pass them anyway, even with the guts. So why bother trying to boost it unless you can get five or higher? That's another school of thought. Now, I don't know if that's true. I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't run the, the math. Yeah. Yeah, people are making the case that I, I'm getting a, I should be getting a decent number of clues with my hunch deck. But we all know the odds of that. Yeah. Four, four out of ten. Joe getting clues with his hunch cards. You probably don't need fingerprints. I, I agree. This like, is amazing. Let's, let's cut the fingerprints. Ryan Shelton says, Steadfast is bad in Joe. John Steinbeck, next comment. Steadfast is great in Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, guts plus the camera, but I don't know. Can you run the camera? I mean, can you count on the camera? It's going to take a while to get that camera online. I think you definitely, have you cut the fingerprint kit? I think that's a good cut. It's gone. Yeah, that looks good. That's six in the hands. I like that. That's very nice. This? Now, mm -hmm. one of us is going to have to, now I've got two shriveling, you've got two guns. That's about as good as we've got. So, maybe... You need more, one more. Oh, you've got the blade, too. So we've got five weapons between mm -hmm. us. So somebody's going to be able to shoot something for more than one damage, which I think is the goal. Well, and 40% of my cards from my hunch deck are either search the top nine for a card or draw three. Yeah. So, like, that's pretty good. Okay. So I'm about ready for me... Benjamin's Meantime. saying, cut fine clothes. Everyone in chat was saying, I need at least one fine clothes. Well, just do one. Do you have one in there? Yeah, I have one. I need to cut two cards. That's exactly so, the card that I would cut, by the way. So here's my thing. It's like, I, I don't know if I need these, like, I'm going to get rid of all these boosties. 
I w yeah, you, you could, if I was going to do it, honestly, I would, I would do probably two take the initiative and two... Steadfast? Definitely two vicious blow. And then steadfast and guts. I would cut steadfast and perception and keep the guts if, if it were me. What, is, what, is, what does that do? Hold on, that may be better. So it's, if I have five or more remaining health, it's two fight and two... Brain. Oh yeah, keep the steadfast and cut That's, the guts. That seems good. Keep the steadfast, cut the guts. And guts is gone. And that perception. We don't need that perception. And that technically gets me to 40, which is what I need to get to. I like that. I mean, last chance. Who's got comments? Who's got the comments? I think this is it. I think we've done it. This looks like a clean deck, right? Very nice. You got a backpack. When you're done with that, you dress in your, dress in your fancy clothes. You'll have two allies. Once you get charisma, you can run them both. You've got three gun slots, essentially. Now try to get a camera or a magnifying glass. Once we upgrade those glasses, you can pop them back into your deck when you don't need them. Drop your camera back out. You got the caches going right into that backpack. Uh, how many items do you have for that backpack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think the clothes go in. Nine, Nine. for the blade, 10, 11 for the cache. You're clean. One out of three cars, that backpack's going to search out. Yeah. All right. So let's grab my blue card. I need the 45 automatic. Yeah, <laughs> Lewis Knight, cut the backpack. Joe's Pizza thinks we need more weapons, but everyone's saying that looks decent. Beat cop. Steadfast, take the initiative, vicious blow. People want to see the graph summary, so click over the charts in the top right. Yeah. There you go. There's some charts. Is that helpful? <laughs> yeah, Trisma, you need, you need both of those slots. You got to have the arcane and the hand slot. These are all zero experience, right? Everything you're seeing that doesn't have a pip is zero experience, yeah. So, like, I'm trying to find steadfast. I'm going to take you guys to the, so there's skill cards that should be at the very back. So it's assets, and then events, and then skills. And then, and then pip, zero to five. All right, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the top down shot here. I believe we have it now. Look at that. Okay, so, so this is what I'm looking at in mm. terms of, of building. So let's do a quick go. I need your help with the Jim Culver, um, the Jim Culver like neutral cards. So I think things that are no-brainers are these, this kind of mystic suite, right? So we've got Shriveling and Sixth Sense as the spell, so you can do Fighting and Clue Gathering. Olive is great with Jim because you can choose the, to the Skull. Rosary, just a straight up plus one to your head and also take some Sanity. And the Ritual Candles, so plus one skill when you reveal a Skull, and they also count for zero. That makes total sense. Um, then we go down to the mystic things that are always great. Premonition is always great. Water protection is always great. Deny existence is always great. Uh, dark prophecy, probably. I like that a lot because you can reveal those skulls. Um, then Drawn to the Flame I like just because it's a way to get free two clues. I don't know how you cannot do that. I also actually like read the signs because I'm going to be looking at a seven investigate with read the signs at two clues. Like I, I will pay two for that pretty much all day, every day. Probably all day, every day, every day. Then we've got. Um, you think Cthonian stone over ritual candles? Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Basically, yeah, I guess that's right. Turn a skull into a plus one instead of a zero is the basic idea. But it also helps against all the other ones. Yeah, we'll work on it. We just got, we literally spent the first hour of the stream setting up the, the overhead. So it, we'll tweak it up a little bit. But right now, we're not worried about it. OK, so candles, everyone's saying no? OK, stone over the ritual candles. Let's look at it. OK. So we seal basically a non-skull, and that gives us a better chance. Is that what you guys are talking about, basically? That we basically seal like the hood or the tablet, and so there's 
a greater chance at seeing skulls. Okay. I'm with it. I'll go there. Now, we could technically do both because we've got a hand slot open. So, what if we do what if we do candles and the stone? What but how cool is this, right? The stone and the candles. Here's the real question. Candles or scroll or prophecies? Scroll of Prophecies or the Candles. I don't know about this arcane research. I'm not sure. Scroll more than Candles. Keith on the Candles. Fox is uh, neither. So what goes in the other hand? That's the question. I do have St. Hubert's Key over here. Maybe a one of. Over the rosary. It's getting expensive over here, guys. <laughs> I'm just filtering through cards. I'm going to be a minute. Key, key, scroll. Oh, the trumpet. Right, 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 right. OK. Now I'm with it. You got to get the trumpet. So that means I'm going to have to run that backpack to you. Just kidding. Give me that back. Just back. kidding. OK. Trumpet in the other hand, yep. OK. All right, Eldritch Inspiration, I agree. That's an easy one. We can drop. Defiance, we still under Defiance? Get this out of here. No scroll. So I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine that I've got trumpet plus stone in my hands. I've got the rosary on. I've got olive out. I've got two spells, six cents and shriveling, and basically like do I could run one Hubert's key and one rosary, which is not terrible. Let's see what the difference is. Ugh, how much is that one book worth? No, I'm not going to run Hubert's Key. My whole thing is I'm healing sanity, which means I shouldn't ever be defeated by horror. OK, everyone's in Uncage the Soul. Let me check that one out. Uncage the Soul. Let's see what that's about. Spell or Ritual at minus 3. OK, it's got a good 2 head on it, too. Spells are 1, 2, 3, 4. Really, that I would ever play this on? Four cards? You would include two Uncage the Holes to pay for four cards? Doesn't seem like a what Steven. Is this? When I ran old, old Wiz Kid in uh, Netrunner, you had to have at least 10 to 12 to run uh, the minus three asset drop. Huh. Where are the newts? newts? You got the neutrals? Are nope. they here? There it should be probably in the back here. Mm, yeah, it is a double brain commit. I mean, it's great when it works. Yeah, OK. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with uh, Uncage. Probably delve too deep. I like that. Um, victory one. Grab the extra experience. Defiance, I think, is good. Basically, I can always have the skulls be good, and then I can nullify one other symbol. Uh, that usually is like at a minus three, which is good. Read the signs is good. Premonition, dark prophecy, drawn to the flame. I'll always run that. And now we need the off class cards. I agree, Jessa. It's not enough spells. I would take emergency cash over it. But it gives you the play for free, too. It's technically four units. 
All right, so off-class cards, let's go there too. I'm definitely running two luckies because I will not leave home without them. It makes me just want to run two live and learn and call it a day. Do I have any relics that matter for Ellie Horowitz? Is backpack neutral? Yeah. I've got my trumpet and two stones. Surely that's not enough. Unless I go into relics later on, maybe. Let's see if there's any in here that I want to get into. Mm, I could do sign magic, but I'm not going to. Spectral Razor. Okay. Let's look at Spectral Razor. I'm going to guess that's an event, if I'm not mistaken. Ethereal form, astral travel. I also love astral travel. Maybe it's not. I don't see it in here. Zach, can you look up Spectral Razor on there? Statue is a relic. That's true. Okay, what is that? A mystic spell. Does that say event? Two cost event, yep. Top left. I don't know that I have that in here. Maybe it's in the deck. All right, let's count this and see if I got them all. No, I don't have it in here. Maybe we don't have it. No! You got that deck box with the, or Robert's idea. That's right here. That's his deck. Thank you. What remains, at least. What remains? All right. Hey, we did it, fam. We're getting there. I'm going to Yeah, I actually it, don't have it. I don't have Spectral Razor. Bummer. No idea where that one is. Can you give me one of those sleeves? Yeah. All right, so we can't do Spectral Razor. What, what uh, color John, is it? we're going to do the full Carcosa campaign on stream. Yeah, that's, that's our idea. What color is Spectral Razor? Purple? Yeah, yeah, I don't and have it. That wasn't in his deck? No, I don't have it. What's it from? Mm. Dark Side of the Moon? Dark Side of the Moon. I'm tempted to go Ellie here. I love the idea of her always. I had a great time. And Grotesque Statue, that's the one. It's only four experience. Like, that's the only version. I think that's the only version, yeah. Might be. I kind of I kind of do like. OK, so I'll go into the big statue, the big big dog statue. So let's go Ellie, then. Let's go Lucky Ellie. We'll, we'll bridge the gap. Maybe one lone wolf. I kind of like that as an idea just because it's the way that it goes. It's in the pack. Robert said it's in the pack. Check the pack. Is that that big bag of things that we had? OK. I'll grab it. I got it. I was just counting my sleeves. You got it. Didn't want to leave count. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon. Thanks for that, Robert. All right, Moon Wolf. You think where I'm going? No. I don't think Are so. Are you Man, it's so overwhelming to have access to all these level zero cards. Crazy. It was being installed on their car. All right, let's see if we've got this one. Yeah. One lone wolf? Dude, you can't cut Olive and Jim. That seems insane. That seems absolutely crazy to me. Like, she is built to grab a skull token and make it a zero. Ooh, Tooth is cool. Guys, I'm not, I'm not, there is no world where I'm cutting Olive. That world does not exist. <clears throat> yeah, I'll pick up, Alex, eventually I'll pick up Charisma. I, I usually start with four allies and then pick up Charisma as my first buy. I, I 
don't know. Let's see. Thank you. Spectral Razor, it's here. Add your to your skill value immediately before this attack. You may engage this attack plus two. Oh my gosh. What a great card. Whoo! Charisma and Relic Hunter, yeah, I agree. Teeth is only okay for Jim. That's correct. Run Charisma if I could in real life. I agree with you, Ben. Okay. Things I do need, things I don't need. Zach, can I get you on the deck builder at some point? Um, I'm going. Do the final. It's the final. It's the, <laughs> the final curtain call here. All right, Sebastian, thank you. Glad the deck looks great. Doesn't scavenging require like a you winning a big investigate? How many of those razors are you putting in? I'm putting two in for sure. I haven't even started building yet. Can you search out all the relics, level zero relics across all the classes? Look at me. Yeah, look at you using that thing. Crystallizer of dreams. Ooh. Decorated skull. You know, the crystallizer is not an awful idea here. One crystal is just hilarious. Your favorite? The blade. What about that Hallowed Mirror? What does that do? Is that a Healy thing? Limit one per deck. Your favorite? Of course, after Hallowed Mirror enters play, search your bonded cards for three copies of Soothing Melody. Add one to your hand, shuffle the other two into your deck. When Hallowed Mirror leaves play, find each of those copies of Soothing Melody. Can you look up Soothing Melody? It's basically like that cat card. Heal two damage or horror? from among investigators and or allies at your location, draw a card. That's pretty good. That's actually quite what was, good. What type of item was it? Relic. That Moonstone's fun, but I don't think Jim's the right guy for it. No. You can only, you have to discard it from your hand to play it, which is actually pretty difficult. It's great in that old deck that you were running, though, where you discard your hand every uh -huh. time. Got the stone. And I've certainly considered one tooth. Huh. That's not a terrible idea. Yeah, let's do Hell and Mirror. I think we hit it, guys. I like Hell and Mirror a lot. That's a Guardian card? It was purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. It might be in the pack as well. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it probably will be. I think it's a new one. It's a pretty new one. I'm going to save my list and publish it so people can see it. Hold on. Yeah, let's go Hell and Mirror. Yeah, it, it is blue. Yeah. Mm, sorry. You get... It's an interesting blue card. It's an unexpected blue card. Hallowed Mirror, there it is. Oh, it's so cool, too. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is so good. I love it. Okay. Hallowed Mirror. We did it. Let's see if we can find the soothing melodies. Guys, I think we're about time to start cutting. Cutting cards? I think it's time to start I'm sleeving. for me. You're sleeving, I'm cutting, we're almost there. There's my soothing melodies. Do you get neutrals in there yet? No, I don't even know if I got room for neutrals. Backpacks and caches? Not doing backpacks. Or what about fine clothes? Okay. Hallowed mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. All right, so things I know that I'm taking, so that kind of clashes with the rosary a little bit. I could do a rosary, a St. Hubert's Key, and a Hallowed Mirror, except that's not how I play any kind of game. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, that's set. Two, four, six, you gotta have, you gotta have Deny Existence, right? What to do? <laughs> it's just too good. Uh, it cancels stuff. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think that's pretty well set. Mattis says no fine clothes. You crazy? I feel like fine clothes is such like an awareness play on this campaign that it makes me feel like you're cheating. Feel like I'm cheating. Yeah. Well, I got one. I always got to have a fine suit. Gentlemen <laughs> don't travel that fine suit. <laughs> All right, friends. This is 30 cards we're looking at here. Let me, let me get the non-30. 
I need to cut five of them. You got rid of Lucky? No, they're going in. I just need to cut five. Mm. I, I think I'm on the boat. I think this is fine, even though I don't like it. Because it is too, too my main stat on the skill test. And in the rare occasion I can play it, it is a huge accelerator. But, you never know. All right, I could put a, I could put a fine close in. I'm not worried about it. I think I got one at the back of the neutral stack for you. You're right. Uncage is an easy cut. Defiance is an easy cut. Delve Too Deep is a great card. Also somewhat of an easy cut. Ryan Shelton said Defiance level zero is bad. Did you cut Defiance? Level two, yeah, level two is incredible. I think dropping one Rosary and putting a Hallowed Mirror is not a bad idea. That get that's that's an acceptable because you it's they're both one ups, but they're both kind of hit in the same. They're both in the next slot. Yeah, I do know that. Is Delve one per game now? Good for us. I didn't know that. Nailed it. Okay. Okay, let's go. That, that looks pretty good. And then two Ellie. And we'll pick up Charisma soon. And two Lucky. You guys feeling like I need money? But how expensive is my stuff, right? I guess stone shriveling. I need like one accelerator. Is there a reason it wouldn't let me put Ellie in your deck? Oh, uh, no. Makes me Sometimes nervous. it does that. Sometimes it gets a little weird. Let's save it and add it. Let's try it again. Contains too few cards. There it is. Yeah, that's that's actually true. Oh, now I'm supposed to raise and read the signs. I'm back on it. I'm I'm with you. I'm back on the uh, uncage. Okay, so I'm gonna go one deny. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. It's a good card, but. One drawn. Um, how important is uh, experience to us? <laughs> what are you talking about? I feel like Jim is a guy that's going to delve too deep for sure. Let's deny existence. You cut or deny existence? Maybe. You never know what I'm going to do. I could be cutting it already. I mean, two minutes, not even two minutes ago, it was an auto include. <laughs> no, it's really, it's really not. It's a, it's a good card. Don't get me wrong, it's a good card. But it's not that important. I do not think Deny Existence is the best card in this deck at all. Not, not even close. In, in how many games of Arkham do you not have this card and you're still just fine, right? So like trading a card for a treachery effect that you might pass anyway with your head stat, to me, I'm actually talking myself out of it. I actually don't like that card at all now. Deny Existence? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. It's gone. I have you at 28 cards currently. 28, yeah, my fine clothes, two luckies, two Ellies. Yep, yep, yep. We're missing something because these are all two ofs. So it should be at 29. Fine clothes? That's a one of. Yep. So that should be 29. And then 30, I might do a, a draw into flame. Here's the thing read the signs. 
is going to get me two clues. Drawn to the Flame could ruin us with an encounter deck card, but I love the card. I could maybe do one or one. I don't have Uncage. Currently 30. You don't think Premonition is there, huh? Yeah, but you love that card. I mean, Premonition is great for everybody. It's just so good. Yeah. I'm going to keep read the signs of Spectral Razor because they can pull off, a delve, or off of uh, Uncage the Soul and basically equate to Emergency Cash. Um, I'm going to go here and here. And now I need one more card. It can be a Deny Existence. It can be a Drawn to the Flame. It can be a Holy Rosary back in. It could be an Emergency Cash. It could be an Enchanted Blade if we wanted it to be. It could be a Scroll of Prophecies. It could be a Wither. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to throw Drawn to the Flame in here, because I am Drawn to the Flame. That's what I had in there. Let's just face it. I am Drawn to the Flame. Delve to Deep, I'm kind of iffy on. I know it's great, but it's, it's a way to just kind of, uh, you know, spike agendas. I like that. Feeling good? Yeah. I need... Do we have emergency caches? Yeah. Lots of them. <laughs> Plenty. Let me see what I would cut for that. I like watching you go through this process because I feel like you have more of a handle on it than I do. Mm -hmm. I've never been one to really be overly concerned with economy in this game because... You can I, always click for a credit? Well, it's that, and it's the same thing as Netrunner. It's like some people come into a game of Netrunner and think, here's my ultimate setup that I'm going to have, and here's how much it costs. And I think if you play very carefully and only play the assets you need at this very moment mm -hmm. and like be very meticulous about it like the way Timmy Wong used to play mm -hmm. um, you generally don't need nearly as much money because you're not spending it on things that don't immediately benefit you in the next like yeah. turn action etc um What up, Aaron? Says, just got here. Loving the new overhead camera. Thank Shout you. out to you. Uh, I believe you said you signed up for a content membership. Uh, content members, people buying our tokens and our boards and whatnot, uh, are what made that possible. So we, we appreciate it, and we're glad to be able to upgrade. I think I'm going to leave it here. All right. Let's, uh, here's what I'm going to do, Steven. Yeah. I'm going to save it. I'm going to publish it. I'm going to link it to chat just so they can see it and appreciate it in, mm -hmm. the, in the... Yeah, let's take a look at there. it. Let's take a look at it. And that way, because I feel like once they can see it there, it's an easier thing to appreciate. I also do kind of like dropping one delve too deep and adding another Dawn to the Flame. One of these, one of these choices is helping us win and one of these choices is helping us win harder. And I'm not usually a win harder kind of guy. Alex Kaiser says, drop the delves, the draw to the flame adds in counter cards anyways. I'm going here. Calling it, it's done. What, what'd you do? You stuck? Uh, I dropped one delve too deep and I added back uh, drawn to the flame. All right, we're added in. There's one thing I know about Arkham, it's that if you can get two clues for free, it's always awesome. So I'm there. Published two minutes too soon. <laughs> All right, so we cut Delve Too Deep. We cut Delve Too Deep. One of. There's one in the deck now. And then you did what? And we added up to two Drawn to the Flame. Got it. All right, now I'm publishing again. Yeah. I'm going to delete that other pile. Okay, great. Now I'm actually going to take the time. So what we're going to do... Here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to stop the stream and come back so we can have a fresh video that is the start of Carcosa. 
because if these videos go over six, uh, over six hours, it, YouTube absolutely hates it. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna cut the feed and then in about five minutes, we're gonna bring it back. So everybody, please join back again. Don't let this fool you. We'll be right back. We'll jump right into the intro to Carcosa and play the first scenario and see how these decks are gonna do. So we will be right back. And I'm gonna sit here awkwardly while Steve walks around to shut this off. Just kidding. Uh, been, been great, I really appreciate your help. I could not have built this deck this quickly without all of you, so really appreciate that. And excited to dive into Carcosa. A lot they of, just, a lot of, us, they can't see it. I know they can't. No, uh, a lot of really, really uh, good comments about this campaign. So I'm excited about. It. We'll be right, be right back. Can you click it on uh, the cast? Mm -hmm. On uh, restream. Let me know when that's done. 